Hopefully there aren't many issues with your kitchen, but if yours is on the small side, there might be plenty of problems that arise. Things like utensils piling up on the counter, stacking your pots and pans, storing your raw foods, and making sure you still have enough space to move around. Take a look at your kitchen, figure out what you'd like to change, and get ready for this countdown that will hopefully help you fix them all. Number 20. Fix the countertop. How can you make your kitchen look like it's gotten a facelift? Fix up that countertop. For instance, you can replace it with one that's solid black. Leave at least 3 inch wings on either side, then paint the bottom drawers with a bright white paint. If you already installed a medium height backsplash, cut half of it. This will give the illusion of more space above the counter. Add in some pendant lighting with a unique shape and your kitchen will be looking perfect. Number 19. Mount a table on the wall. Eating a meal on the sofa just can't compare to having one on a dining table. Sure, when you're having a party or entertaining guests, sitting on the sofa and using your thighs as a table might be fun, but it's just so nice to sit down to a dining table. If you don't have the space for one, why not try mounting a folding table to the wall in your kitchen or hallway, wherever you have space. Then when you're done, just tidy up and fold the table away again. Number 18. Add a rolling island. Having a kitchen island can be a blessing or a curse. The permanent kind can be great for preparing your meals or maybe even dining at, but sometimes don't you wish you could just push the island to the side so you have some more space to move around? Well, if you pick up yourself one of these rolling islands, you can do just that. Bring it into the middle of your kitchen for preparing food, then move it to the edge of the room when your company is over. And for a special dinner for two, these rolling islands make for a great dinner caddy. Number 17. Be smart about buying your cutting boards. If you're always looking for space to put your cutting boards when you need to chop things up, why not think outside the box? If you get cutting boards that are wider than your kitchen sink, you can place the board across the sink and do both your cleaning and cutting in one place. As a bonus, you're still not losing space for your dishes. Number 16. Expand your kitchen with patterns. This tip is shared by one of the world's most famous interior designers. It helps you achieve a look of an exotic and spacious kitchen while still remaining elegant. First, try installing tiger stripe wallpaper horizontally to give the illusion of more space. Pair it with solid colors on the countertop or shelves. A bonus of going with this idea is you can keep everything else simple. No need to pair it with decorations elsewhere. Just keep it clean and the patterns will do the talking. Number 15. Dig up the sink. If you're a fan of mixing and matching, your biggest enemy would probably be the sink. Unlike the stove that can blend into almost any style, the sink dictates how stylish your kitchen can be. If you still have the concave type, it may be time to consider remodeling. The top mount and front sink model has the most flexible style compared to the others. Its gray silvery color fits well with almost any concept. Number 14. Mount wavy shelves. Kitchen shelves usually have a monotonous shape. Maybe that's why almost all kitchens look the same, dominated by boxes. Give your kitchen some movement by mounting curvy boards to the wall. It works just like open shelves, but with style. Just be careful if you have an open stove. Make sure any boards are far enough away from heat or flames as to not cause a fire. Number 13. Get glossy. Besides a mirror, another way to achieve a spacious impression is by giving your ceiling an upgrade. Lacquer finishing gives a blurred but glossy look to your ceiling surface, allowing it to reflect light randomly, creating the illusion of an endless ceiling. When choosing your color, remember not to stray too far from the color on the walls. You can then complete the set with mosaic tiles of a similar color. Number 12. Splash Metallic Element one option to make a tiny space look bigger is by adding a silvery shade. Take a look at the colors already on your walls, then find a pretty silver wallpaper with a similar background color. This eye trick works better in the light, so make sure to turn them on at night. The morning sunshine could also be the perfect lighting to enjoy these metallic shades. Recommended colors include blue, beige, and other soft colors. Number 11. Trim with color. If you decide to go with this idea, you're aiming for a small but fun cooking corner. The equipment needed is also pretty easy to get. All you need is a can of your favorite color of paint and a roll of painter's tape. Design the blueprint first. Trimming helps to add contour by adding shape. If your kitchen already has a backsplash, then you can add in some elements from it. This way you can have a more cohesive look to your kitchen. Another color with a similar hue is also possible. Number 10. Install extra storage. 
Adding storage does not always mean expanding your kitchen. The area from the floor to midsection of the kitchen is usually occupied by kitchen equipment, such as the stove and sink. However, the area above the cabinets and close to the ceiling is often forgotten. You can install some cabinets on top or store things above your existing cabinets. Just make sure you have a step stool handy to reach them when you need them. Also, this storage space is best used for equipment not needed often as it is up and out of the way. Number nine, create a rack chandelier. When it comes to your cooking equipment, your pots and pans take up the most space. Instead of hanging them on your precious walls or taking up space in your cupboards, make some space up in the air. The concept is similar to a chandelier. Set it above the dining table and build a ring around it with lights and some hooks. Alternate the pot colors and see how they turn into unique decorations. Measure the height and make sure your guests' heads will not bump into the pots. Keep in mind that this trick is not suitable for catering properties. Number eight, build yourself some open shelves out of copper. Don't let your limited cooking corner stop you from being fancy. If your kitchen is surrounded by windows on both sides, then this idea might work well for you. Build two stories of open shelves using copper pipe. Add one bar to the bottom to hang mugs and cups. Later on, this shelf will be attached to the countertops. When calculating the size, don't forget to match your height to the design. The first level should be within arm's reach. The items on the second bar should be within reach without having to get on your tippy toes. Number seven, apply a monochromatic look. Black can hide stains and white has the power to brighten the atmosphere. What about the combination of both? You could go for what is called a monochromatic style. If you know how to plan out the tones, it'll be a magnificent setting. Put black on the cooking area so any stains can wait a while before cleaning time. Then use white for the preparation station, allowing for you to cut cleanly. Adding a checkered backsplash and floor are also good complements for this combination. Number six, hang some oversized art. If you arrange things effectively, there might be a case when you have an empty wall. Instead of letting it remain bare, hang a piece of oversized art. It expands the visitor's view and as a result, you have what looks like a spacious kitchen as well as a chic focal point in the room. Keep in mind the effect will stand out only when you have a single color on the wall, floor, and cabinets. Number five, organize your spices. If you take cooking seriously, then you'll undoubtedly have lots of spices in stock. Even if you're not so fond of cooking, you still need clear jars to store your oatmeal and snacks. The original packages have different sizes and shapes, so to make things prettier, add decorative stickers, labeling each one of their names. Utilize the jars on the countertop, close to your reach. It's even better if you have mounted wall shelves. Number four, use molding to pull it all together. How can you tell when a space is nice and large? One way to measure it is by looking for usable hanging space. For example, the embossed surface from the molding and drawer pull. This concept could be adapted to your kitchen. Add at least two inches of molding to your countertop edges. For the drawers, pick the poles that are easy to grip, easy to clean, and have a simple yet stylish design. Number three, light up your shelves. If it's not possible to use an entire wall for a display, find another way to spice up your kitchen. Ceiling shelves might just be your savior. The first option is to paint inside with a bright color, more vivid than the outer frame. During the day, seeing your cutlery plates and bowls stored in a colored box will be like looking at a piece of art. However, this sight will fade during the night, which is a good reason to install some small lighting in your ceiling to illuminate your shelves. Number two, split the tone. There are reasons why your eyes cannot be used to accurately measure. An instant example is when you see a bright top paired with a dark bottom. The eyes will automatically decide if it's proportional. And that's what happens when you apply a similar trick to your kitchen. The small space will look bigger than its real size. The white top spreads from the counter to the shelves. The bottom shelves then adopt a dark color to give a total contrast. And last, number one, mirror backsplash. Nothing makes a room look larger better than a mirror. It reflects whatever is placed in front of it, allowing your eyes to catch a glimpse of an extended room. Since installing mirrors for each cabinet can be too pricey, pick a specific spot for installation. The backsplash would be the most appropriate space. In addition, a mirror backsplash also yells out elegance and contemporary style. That's it. If you enjoyed our little show, hit the like or share button under this video, or better yet, comment with your valuable opinion. And lastly, press the subscribe button if this channel is new to you and you would like to see more. Thanks for watching.